Ronnie Chavez here, and today you're going to learn what shoes are best for parkour. Let's get started. So here are some methods for, to help you pick out your first pair of parkour shoes from any sporting goods store. There are so many shoes out there that would work great for parkour, but a lot of it is based on individual preference, depending on if the athlete prefers more padding or less padding, the kind of grip if you're working with walls or handrails. I think the most important thing in a parkour shoe is going to be its grip because that can make the difference between how successful a parkour move is you do and can also prevent injury if you're not expecting to slip. So the first shoe I'd like to talk about is, you may recognize this from the Assassin's Creed videos, this is the boot I use when I'm dressed up in the Assassin's Creed costume. It's not actually a boot though, this is actually a 510 free running shoe covered in leather to look like a boot. And this, uh, because it's by 510, the rubber on the sole itself is actually made out of uh, rock climbing rubber. So this is amazing grip for cement and brick, rough type surfaces. But when it comes to handrails, things of a slicker nature, I've found they just don't really pull it off. They tend to get this layer of dust. They aren't that diverse when it comes to different types of obstacles and stuff. But they work great if you're trying to do wall runs or wall flips. They're amazing for that. And so the next shoe I'd like to introduce you to is a shoe I just found on my own at a local sports store. It's uh, called the Crest by Starter, and it's only $20. That's the best thing about it is it's a cheap shoe that uh, you know I wear through pretty fast, but then I can just buy another one for cheap. Um, the grip on it is pretty decent on brick walls, but it also works well on handrails too. And so that's what I really like about it is the grip is kind of an all-terrain kind of grip. Something else important to notice with any of these shoes is if you look at them, you notice that they have a flat sole on the bottom. This gives you more surface area when it comes to grip. Same with these, these are like really flat. There's not a lot of texture or grooves. And so it's important when picking out a parkour shoe that you find a shoe that's going to have this type of surface area. So you wanna try and avoid shoes that are made of chunks of sole on the bottom because especially when doing parkour, those can get torn right off. You can see a little bit of that happening here, but I actually haven't trained in these shoes a lot and so that's why uh, they haven't been completely torn off yet, but if I were using these as often as these other ones, these would be coming right off. And so that's why you want that complete sole where it's just one solid piece of rubber is ideal for a parkour shoe. What I do like about these shoes, if you notice these two little round rubber pieces sticking out, it does provide for more surface area, meaning more friction and more grip, but it also provides a support, so you're less likely to roll your ankle if you happen to land funny. That's one problem I've found with this shoe, is if you look at it at this angle, you can see that there's kind of this angled ridge that just uh, makes it easier for your foot to roll over, and I've actually twisted my ankle a few times in these shoes. And so, I would look for shoes with good support so that you can avoid that potential of uh, injury, but you also want to have a good solid sh shoe like, like this one. So a really popular shoe in the parkour community is called the Feiyu. And as you can see, it's this uh, light kind of kung fu martial art type shoe. I, me personally, I haven't liked it too much. Um, they wear out pretty easily and the, the grip isn't great for me. And, uh, but a lot of people like them because they're, they're a great training shoe for teaching you how to land light, lightly on your feet. The padding, they don't have much padding at all and so any move you do, you have to learn to land you know, in con with control, otherwise you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the bruise in your heel or in your balls of your feet, which you shouldn't be landing on your heels, you should always be landing on the balls of your feet and this would help show you exactly how you're landing. You'd feel every little mistake you make when you do parkour moves. And I think that's why a lot of people really like them is because they're light, flexible, it's almost like being barefooted with some protection. So a lot of these shoes I've shown you in this video today aren't even built for parkour. This is just a basic running shoe and this is actually my favorite parkour shoe I've ever ran into because of its price, its uh, grip, what it's like on the bottom, its overall durability, and uh, you know just for an overall parkour shoe it's been great. And the reason I'm showing you this is because you can also find great parkour shoes in your own local sporting goods stores. You just have to know what to look for. So the first 
tip I'd like to give you in looking for a shoe with good grip, because I think that's the most important thing when it comes to a parkour shoe, is find the, a rubber on the sole that's soft, that you can easily indent, indent with your fingernail. And if it even leaves the indent there, then you know it's super grippy because it's really going to be porous to any rough surface. So these shoes you can see are really grippy because as you see my thumbnail go into it, it actually leaves the indent. And so the only thing with soft rubber is it's going to wear out faster, but depending on how much money you're spending, I think it can be worth it. There's a lot of other shoes out there that I'm sure a lot of parkour athletes would love and would tell you about, but these are just in my experience shoes that I've liked and what you should look for in your own parkour shoe when you're going shopping and you want something that's going to work for you. So I'll include links in the information to where you can find all of these shoes online. Eventually though it's time to move on to some new shoes so let me know in the comments what kind of shoes you like to use for parkour and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.